Hello my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do, film a what I eat in the week for you guys. I'm filming this video uh, purely to give you guys recipe ideas. I love cooking. I love watching other people's what I eat in the week videos um, for recipe inspiration and I just want to say please don't use my caloric intake as a model uh, for your own. Everyone has a different body and has different needs and even week by week you can differ in what your body needs and I'm very into intuitive eating and eating what you feel that your body needs in that moment. So yes, okay, so let's get started here. So I started filming this video on a Monday and um, I was working on a midterm on that Monday so it was a very chaotic day so kind of shorter clips but um, I started off with some yogurt and granola and I love to add peanut butter and jam to my yogurt. For lunch I had a falafel wrap from um, this chain called Mamoons in New York and I, there's some in New Jersey as well. It's really good. Um, I usually don't go out for lunch but uh, just because it was a busy day and I didn't feel like making anything and also we were running out of groceries on Monday so that's why. And then for dinner, I made a lentil bolognese with Beyond Meat, carrot, celery, onions, and yeah, some lentils in there. And then I just cooked up some, cooked up some whole wheat spaghetti to, to go with the bolognese sauce. And then that brings us to Tuesday. Tuesday, I started off my morning with a tofu scramble. You will see that I repeat this. Um, this is one of my favorite breakfasts. I like making them either to put inside of a wrap or to just eat with toast. Tofu scramble is my favorite. So, uh, this morning, I decided to add some red onion, some kale, some green pepper, and sauteed those all together. And then I added in my tofu and I added in my spices. So I get a lot of questions from my friends about like how to spice tofu scramble. It's really all up to you, um, whatever spices you need, but like you tend to need more spice than you think you do. Um, so yeah, be generous with the spices, but I tend to use cumin, turmeric, the Trader Joe's umami blend. I add a little soy sauce, paprika, smoked paprika, red chili flakes, and I start by sauteing onion and garlic and then throw the tofu in, and whatever vegetables. When I use kale, I tend to add in the kale after the tofu is already cooked because it doesn't need that much of cooking time, which is what I did today. So yes, sauteed all of that together, toasted some pumpernickel bread, and put my tofu on top. Usually if I have it with toast, I'll tend to like top the toast with something. So whether that be like like vegan cream cheese or um, avocado, whatever I'm feeling that day. And on Tuesday for lunch, I made a tofu salad that I actually used to get this like a very similar salad at Sweet Green. So it started off with a base of arugula and then I add in some basil leaves into the greens, which is quite the light pack, so delicious. And then I topped it with some Trader Joe's teriyaki baked tofu, some raw cashews, some cucumber, some oranges, and topped it with the Trader Joe's spicy cashew dressing. They just came out with this, it's vegan, it's so good, I highly recommend. So then for dinner this night, I made pasta again. I've been really uh, into making pasta lately. I think it's just it's like a really comforting warm meal. So yeah, but this time I used the Trader Joe's kale gnocchi. So I cooked that up and then in another pan I cooked up some zucchini, some onion, and some uh, Trader Joe's meatless meatballs. And when all of that was cooked together, I threw it in a bowl and topped it with some nutritional yeast and poured myself a glass of wine. I've been really into natural wines lately, specifically like orange, natural orange wines. Oh, just been loving them lately. This night we actually 
made brownies, which I will link the recipe down below. They came out really good, delicious. Wednesday morning, I woke up to Spencer making us pumpkin pancakes, which is really sweet. Pancakes are usually something we only make on the weekends, but Spencer decided to wake up early and make pumpkin pancakes in this day, which was so nice of him. And then for lunch, I had a vegetarian turkey wrap. I got the turkey patties from Trader Joe's. They're also new. And so I just cooked those up in a pan with some sauteed kale and garlic in the sauteed kale. Um, put that in a wrap with tomato and then I topped it with the public goods buffalo sauce. Um, so that was our lunch. I tend to eat a lot of wraps for lunch. I just think they're like quick and easy. I usually go for like wraps or salads for lunch. Yeah, so then for dinner, I decided to make a butternut squash chili. I found this recipe online and actually this chili ended up turning out really good. So yeah, I started with sauteing an onion. Um, I only had half a yellow onion, so I decided to add uh, also some shallot that I had left over. Then I cut up a green bell pepper, um, put that all into a pot, and then added white beans and black beans. And it turned out, this chili guys, this chili turned out so well. It didn't call for uh, diced tomatoes in the chili, but I decided to add them anyway because I just feel like you can't really have a chili without it. But yeah, I mean, this chili just came out so good. So I will link the recipe, I highly recommend it. So Thursday, I started off with, this is like my go-to breakfast sandwich. I'm very into like savory breakfast. And my one reason why it took me so long to become plant-based was because I just loved eating eggs in the morning. But I found that like tofu is a very good substitute in scrambles, but also the like baked tofu that you can buy. So yeah, my go-to breakfast sandwich has been an English muffin, which you will see here. And then I take the Trader Joe's baked tofu. I cut um, it in fours and I cook that up in a pan with a plant-based breakfast sausage. Then I toast up my um, English muffin and usually I add um, pesto to this breakfast sandwich, but I hadn't made pesto yet this week, so I didn't add that, but highly, highly, highly recommend adding pesto. But yeah, so then I just topped the tofu with some vegan cheese, added some hot sauce and some greens and that was my breakfast sandwich so then for lunch that day i decided to make a sort of buffalo chicken bowl um so i started with frying up some crispy chickpeas and some tempeh spicing them with smoked paprika, garlic. I threw some soy sauce in with the tempeh and then I cooked up some kale the same way I have been doing it. Um, we, t we go to the farmer's market every week so we buy things in like large bunches so that's why I have <laughs> so much kale this week. So I sauteed the kale with some garlic again and then I threw everything into a bowl. So the sauteed kale, the crispy chickpeas and the tempeh and then once it was in a bowl, public goods, buffalo sauce again and also some plant-based blue cheese the, it's the diet brand it's actually really good so for dinner on thursday spencer cooked up some impossible meat and made impossible burgers and he likes to like add a bunch of spices to them i don't really know what he adds but it's always good um, so yes, we had the Impossible Burgers on English Muffin and had the leftover chili as a side dish that night. And then on Friday, I started off the morning with making the same tofu scramble I did previously, but this time instead of red onion, I used green onion. I added the tofu scramble to taco shells to make breakfast tacos topped it with some hot sauce and some sriracha and then topped it with some arugula and that was breakfast. So this day I filmed my stack. We went to Westville Bakery and I got a vegan raspberry 
I don't know what they're called. Vegan raspberry crumble, I think that's what it's called. Tart, maybe raspberry tart. And then I also got a London smog, which was a London fog, but with a shot espresso. And it was so good. Oh, by the way, I'm drinking coffee every morning. I guess I forgot to film <laughs> that, but I drink a cup of coffee every morning. So for lunch on Friday, I decided to make kind of like my go-to lunch when I'm feeling pretty hungry. So I started off with making homemade pesto. And I did this by putting some basil, fresh garlic from the farmer's market, adding some salt, pepper, lemon juice, olive oil, of course, some red pepper and some nutritional yeast and blending that in my food processor. And then to go along with the pesto, I cooked up the rest of my zucchini and meatless meatballs in a pan. And then I also cooked up some farro as well. And then I added all of that to a bowl with some arugula and topped it with the pesto and some tomatoes. And that was very delicious. And then that brings us to our last meal of this video, which was Friday night we like to order in. So this Friday we decided to order a vegan pizza from Two Boots. So we got the vegan pepperoni pizza and we got it on a Sicilian crust and it was delicious. So I highly recommend Two Boots. And that is what I ate in a week. Let me know if you want to see some more cooking related videos. I'd love to make some more. I'd love to cook. I love watching recipe recipe videos and I loved coming up with new recipes and yeah so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.